Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate user scraper on Instagram using Socinator. This is very useful if you want to scrape targeted users on Instagram. If you need a list of Instagram followers from a specific user or if you need specific details of Instagram users, you can easily scrape such information using this app. Let's start with the accounts manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the account configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Instagram through Socinator. Let's go to the User Scraper tab because we want to scrape users on Instagram. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to scrape a number of people within a period of time while narrowing them down in a process. You could find and scrape users according to your Instagram preferences. There are several configuration categories for user scraper. The first one is search query. As the name suggests, search query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted users to scrape. There are two important sections in search query, query type and query. Query type defines how you want to search the user. You can select the query type through the drop down menu over here, and it is subcategorized into several different types. Keywords, where you can enter your search term as your query, suggested users of your selected account, hashtag users to find users who used your hashtags. Someone's followers to find users who follow the username you enter. Someone's followings to find users who have been followed by the username you enter. Followers of someone's followers to find followers of followers of the profile you enter. Followers of someone's followings to find followers of followings of the profile you enter. Location users to find users who tagged a specific location in their posts. Custom users list where you can search through specific profile link or username. Users who like posts to search users who like a specific post. You need to enter the post URL here. Users who commented on posts to search users who commented on a specific post. You also need to enter the post URL here. Finally, scrape the user who messaged us to search the users who have messaged this account. Once you have selected your query type, enter the query either manually over here or upload through CSV or text format by using this button. When you're ready, click the Add button over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's input foodies in the query box and click Add. The software will use this query to search related profiles. Instagram mostly returns profiles which are having this text in usernames or profile names. One important thing is that search results for keywords are very low on Instagram, so you won't be able to find a lot of users. So only use it when you are looking for highly targeted profiles. For suggested users, let's input the rock in the query box and click add. It will be added on the queries list and the app will search and scrape suggested users of the rock. For hashtag users, let's input hashtag dogs and click add. Users who use this hashtag will be scraped. For someone's followers, let's input the rock again and click add. The app will target the rock's followers. For someone's followings, let's input the rock again and click add. The app will target the users the rock is following instead. For followers of someone's followers, let's use the rock and click add. The app will find followers of the rock's followers and scrape them. Next is followers of someone's followings. Still with the rock, click add. The app will search and scrape the followers of the users the rock is following. For location users, 
let's search Tokyo Disneyland. Click the location and copy the location URL here or the location ID, which is the number over here. So paste it back in the app in the query box and click add. Users who posted using this location will be searched and scraped. For a custom users list, you can search through specific profile link or username. For example, you can type the rock or you can input the URL of the profile. So this one, copy it and paste it. The next one is users who liked posts. This will allow you to search users who liked a specific post. We need to input the post URL in this query box. So let's say this one, open a new tab and copy the post URL here. Paste it in the query box and click add. So users who like this specific post will then be scraped. For the next one, users who commented on post, let's use the same post URL and click add. So users who commented on the same post we pasted will be searched and scraped. Finally, scrape the users who messaged us so you put the username you want to scrape in this query box and this will search all the users who have messaged the username that you entered. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, click the trash bin button at the right side of the query you want to remove, like this. If you want to import multiple queries from CSV and text file, click the button import from CSV or text file over here. Select the necessary file and click open. The next configuration category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which we can scrape Instagram users. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like slow with an average daily activities of 833, medium with 4,166, fast with 8,333, or super fast with 16,666. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings over here. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Instagram user is scraped. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after scraping the number of users you set in the number of users per job. Number of users per job will allow you to specify the number of Instagram users you want to scrape per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users you want to scrape per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max scraped users per day. Day of the week when to operate will allow you to create a daily schedule. This is very useful if you want to keep scraping users even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on, let's say, a Monday, click the trash bin icon. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday. Provide a start and end time, 12 a.m. to, let's say, 1 59 p.m. Click Add Interval. We may also add one more. Let's say 2 p.m. to 11.59 p.m. 
and click Add Interval. As you can see, we can add more than one time frames in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite over here. Let's name it Scrape and Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time, Scrape. The next tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to scrape on Instagram. For example, the user should have a profile picture, so let's check the box. Should have a minimum of 10 posts and a maximum of 20 posts. Minimum characters in bio should be 5. Minimum followings of 100 and a maximum of 200. Minimum followers of 100 and a maximum of 200. Let's say you don't want to scrape users who are into politics. So let's check must not contain specific words and type politics, government, president. You may edit or delete using the clear all button over here. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. And choosing the right file must not have, click open and it's successfully uploaded. When you're ready, click save. The next one is the exact opposite of the previous one. If you want to scrape users who are into, let's say, pets, you can click must have at least one post with a caption containing specific words and type pets, cats, and dogs. You may edit or delete using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file. So let's choose pets. Click open and it's uploaded successfully. When you're set, click save. Users with these keywords will be searched and scraped by Socinator. Next, we have follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input the follow ratio less than or greater than a specific number. You may also input a follow ratio in a specific range between two numbers. If you want to scrape an active user, you can click should have posted within the last, let's say 10 days. Filter by gender allows you to ignore specific users according to their gender. If you don't want to scrape females, then check ignore females. Skip non-English users will not scrape users with non-English text in their profile and bio. This will make it easier for you to target English-speaking people around the world. But be careful in using too much user filters, though they are not perfect and using a lot at the same time is therefore not encouraged. You may also ignore private users, business profiles, and verified accounts. The last configuration is other configurations. In this part, you may check required data. This will specify the data that you need from the users you scrape. So it could be profile picture URL, username, user ID, user full name, is followed already, post count, follower count, following count, email ID, and contact number, or you can select all. When you are satisfied with all the configurations, and are ready to start scraping users, let's scroll up and hit the save button. Success. After that, click the status button to make it active. If you want to see the list of the users you scrape, simply click reports over here and it will show all the users you have scraped. Now that we're done, let me show you another option in automating user scraper on Instagram using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button. Choose Instagram. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's go to Insta Scrape tab and make sure that user scraper is selected on the left side of the app. Here, we can create and name our campaign. 
let's call it Instagram user scraper for our query type let's choose uh, someone's followers and input the rock click add next is job configuration an average of 833 daily activities should be okay so let's select slow for the user filters should have profile picture minimum of 10 posts and a maximum of 20 no need to specify the minimum characters in bio skip non-english users and ignore verified accounts for the last configuration required data let's select all when you're ready let's click the blue button select account or accounts in this part you can select multiple Instagram accounts since we only have one account right now let's go with that by checking the box and click Save after saving let's click the red button create campaign since this account already has configuration settings saving these new campaign settings will override the previous settings earlier so let's check the box of the username and click Save this will take us to the campaigns tab. You can now see that we have successfully created the Instagram user scraper campaign with the new settings we have chosen. The action button over here will allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. You may also click report to see the users we have scraped. Clicking the status button will allow you to pause the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.